What's up, guys? This is Barrett. And today, in this drum lesson, what I really want to talk about is something that I feel like is not talked about enough. And that's the idea that music has a lot to do with mindset and goals. And what I've kind of boiled it down to in my experience, my practice, whatever, is there's really three main mindsets in music, and they're all very different, okay? Uh, you have uh, performance at the very end, right? A performance mindset is supposed to have the highest expectations upon yourself and your audience is supposed to have the highest expectations of you and at the end of the day, right? Uh, then there's more of a practice mindset. The practice mindset comes before the performance mindset, obviously. But the important thing to remember about a practice mindset is that not only are we doing more so exercises most of the time, so it doesn't necessarily need to sound musical, we need to allow ourselves to have a lot lower expectations. We need to tell ourselves that we're practicing and the idea that we're trying to play is going to eventually evolve and be better and better. And I think a lot of things that turn people away from music who start and then and quit is that they have too high of expectations for themselves when they're sort of in the practice mindset. The last mindset that's never really talked about enough, especially in certain cultures and certain areas in music, is what I like to call the expression mindset, where you're just trying to express. The main difference between the practice mindset and the expression mindset is that in an expression mindset, you just want to do that. You should have literally zero expectations, okay? The reason why people don't feel like they can just sit down and play an instrument is because their expectations are in a performance mindset, you see? And in reality, when you're just expressing yourself on the instrument, it doesn't have to be good. It doesn't have to be an exercise. It doesn't have to be a song. It could be literally anything. And it's important to do all three of these things as a musician. So let's talk about it a little bit. Obviously, the practice mindset is what allows you to express and perform, which is why practicing is kind of the overarching thing that in the music world we're all expected to practice. But here's the thing, and this is something I've always had problems with, and it's why I don't tell my musicians at the end of the day when I teach, okay, practice well, you know, or some canned response like that, like you might hear a teacher say, because I want my student to play even more than they practice. It has more to do with moderation. Um, but aside from that, what practice really should be is, uh, you know, well, it could be like a warm up. So like typically practice is exercises. So in drums case, there's three main different things that we practice as drummers. We have grooves, we have fills, and we have rudiments, okay? So a rudimental idea or more of an exercise could just be either singles or doubles or paradiddles accent or not accent non accented or linear ideas hand hand foot foot i think it's time that we accept in the drumming world and the music world that linear is really like a drum set type rudiment hand hand foot hand hand foot foot so when i'm practicing i really need to think about those ideas as being what they are they're just simple ideas that I can play over and over again. Uh, and then when I'm expressing myself, I want to then expand those ideas that I'm then practicing. So take singles, for example. Uh, The only reason I'm able to express myself like that is because I've practiced dynamics with singles. It's because I've practiced singles and other stickings together. And when you practice doing those sorts of things, that's going to allow you to express yourself more. But here's the caveat. If you only ever practice or if you're only ever in a performance mindset when you really need to be in an expression mindset, that's a bad thing, right? In other words, when I'm expressing myself, I don't care if it's perfect. I don't like I would if it was a performance. Not that I even honestly care if my performances are perfect most of the time. But the point I'm trying to say is, um, you know, as a musician, it is important that at the performance level, you are thinking about the performance more than you are about the playing. So practice allows us to express and perform 
but they're all three different mindsets. And this is a very deep topic. It's hard for me to explain it all in one little simple video. I doubt most people are even gonna make it this far because people like to watch one or two minute videos these days. But it's just a topic I wanted to talk about a little bit. I guess this is really a topic I could really write a whole book on if I really wanted to. Um, who knows? Maybe I'll meditate on that. <laughs> Y'all have a good one. Uh, if you understood what I mean, uh, you know, say in the comments maybe uh, what your opinion is on the things that I'm talking about. And I'm not trying to be controversial. Obviously, practice is very important. But I feel like the musicians who only ever practice, they don't have their own voice on the instrument because all they've ever did was practice or perform something. And you have to express. You have to take those things you're practicing, have the expectations be zero, and just express. Of course, we call that improvisation most of the time. But I feel like improvisation leads to too many expectations because people feel like when they improv, they have to be good. It has to sound good. And that's just simply not true. So thanks for listening to my little TED Talk here or whatever you want to call this. And I'll see you guys on the next one. <laughs>